Hi everyone, uh, this is the another video on the video series inventory module or the stock management module. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about the item groups and their benefits, how you can define them, what they are, how they can be beneficial into the reports like sales analysis, purchase analysis and other reports. And by end of the videos, I hope you can able to do uh, the reports by the item groups, uh, define the item group and create some item as data records and how the default values can be uh, added automatically uh, from the item group to your item master data while creating them. And uh, I'm gonna discuss everything in detail right after this. item master data you first thing is notice is the item group in the item master data and when you open the item item group in here you will see the two tabs the general one and the accounting right now I'm gonna discuss about the general uh, and let's assume that the your company is having the so many number of items and to better manage all the items uh, it can you can you wanted to use the item groups and by um, by by using the item groups you can also uh, make the reporting easier uh, to see the profitable product line and manage the inventory more effectively you know so uh, setting defaults values in the item group for example defaults you and um, the minimum quantity and all these other other values in the item group it would be easier and consistent uh, uh, to the all items when you create them so many business have the large number of items and if it is useful to have a way of the similar similar items then you can make the make a group of those items to define the uh, define the same values into that so for example you can set up a group such as the raw material or the finished good or the group item by how they would appear in the sales catalog and uh, for example you can define the product line such as the printer computer uh, some uh, computer accessories like headphones and then the mouse keyboards and all the other all the other stuff that could be fall into the same category and um, that category could be uh, that could that category could be your item group and then that item group uh, could be automatically when you select into the item master data the default values will be get populated from your item groups into the item master data and we will see right uh, yeah, in the same video today uh, so uh, some of the advantage is that like when you when you define the default values in the item group as I said then it will make it faster uh, to creating an item because some fields will be uh, directly copied from here to your item master data when you create them and uh, when you run the reports for the selection criteria then that item group can be <coughs> can be seen uh, and uh, filter out by easily. So for example, if you're opening the sales analysis and select the items, then you will see that you have uh, the selection of the groups and you can select which group of item you wanna see uh, in, into your reports as well, all right? So uh, item group is basically, you can define in the item as the data from, uh, from the combo box and one item can belong to one item group and uh, uh, and uh, you can simply open the item group either from the drill down of here or you can go to the administration setup inventory and you can open the item groups from here too so there is like basically many ways of opening the same form if you want to define then you can either go from here from the item group or you can simply go to here and open click on the define and it will open into the add mode of your item groups right and in the in the general tab you will see we have the two tabs of item group so in the general tab there is the basic uh, basic info for the items right like the item type and all so for example you can define the um uh, the define uh, the default unit of measurement and the default group of the our uh, default inventory unit of measurement so for example you are uh, you are defining the computers and the computer or the laptop category and the laptop of the HP or Lenovo could be in the unit of measure one 
as a discrete unit and you can uh, you can use a um like here right then the some default uh, some default parameter for the uh, material plannings material requirement planning for mrp like the planning method which would be like mrp or none it would be the procurement or buy or make and what would be the order interval how many times we can order what would be the minimum quantity tolerance time and lead and these all things you can see into your planning uh, field as well all right then for example right now you cannot see here the bin location but for example if you if you're using the bin location so let's uh, let's go ahead and enable the bin location in here and when you open the item group uh, form again then you will see a bin location criteria into here and you can define the default bin location of the uh, warehouse so for example i'm gonna go ahead and uh, select this bin right and uh, you can see that okay enforce this uh, default bin location into uh, your item right and you can create the item group of uh, pc accessories right pc accessories and i'm gonna say the default unit would be uh, let's say i'm gonna say it would be uh it's took right so one item at one time and that would be defined right so you have to uh, define the base unit of that so you have to define a base unit of as well let's say length width volume anything and then let's say weight would be minimum one kg you can define that and then you can update this one and then you can update this to two and i'm gonna say my default uh, um would be this one the default inventory would be also um i'm gonna say this one it should be a uh, contribute in the mrp the order interval could be like let's leave it for now the order multiple would be one the minimum quantity would be 10 per unit the lead time is seven the tolerance time could be 10 and i defined everything i added the uh, item group as well now i'm gonna so i'm gonna when you uh, open the item uh, we are already in the item asarira so when you open the item asarira right and you select this group pc accessories and i'm gonna say that okay i'm creating lenovo uh, l00 lenovo thinkpad right and it's called LCD and somewhere let's say and when you select this one then you will see that the uh, the um is by default become a stock and every um got here is the stock one and then you're gonna see into the your inventory uh inventory uh, of that uh, when you enable the uh, bin location right into from your uh, in your form then you will see that you can see the bin location as well if i'm not mistaken uh, we i think we have to reopen the item master data just to see that form all right so now you can see your uh, bin location because like we just enabled that but the item master data couldn't uh, like you know the refresh one so for example now if you're gonna uh, select the lenovo no l001 lenovo thinkpad l series and once you will select the item group pc accessories then everything from here will be changed and you will see that the is changed in the stock right and uh in the inventory data you will see all the um is changed inventory counting and everything is this took the item per quantity is one and when you select your warehouse is here right and uh, you will see into your planning that the lead time is seven the tolerance time is 10 and everything is get copied from your item uh, group into your item master data and you can add that item directly and once you will find that then you will see that the item is created and it's easy and quick way uh, to like you know uh, populate multiple items 
into one uh, mm -hmm. uh, like create multiple uh, items uh, using the same item group and it's really easy for that and uh, uh, as I already discussed like uh, for example if you already have item groups then you can use the grouping into into the form form selection so for example if you open the purchase order let's say select some vendor right go into in here and in this form when you select the form setting right you can add the item group uh, in the list and in the item group you can you can define as the item group in your language and if you want to group by this one then you can create a group by as well and once you open the form again you will see that the whole item is just grouped by uh, the item group and you can see the selection and it would be really easy for uh, for selecting the items so once you once you apply here and uh, then the same uh, basically it applied into all the uh, all the uh, uh, forms of, of this uh, lookup so that could be uh, similar for all the uh, all the lookup of item list of items in every form so that how you can uh, reinforce and this is basically the basic fundamental of the item group and how you can use them into the reports and basically into the item as the data which make life easier while creating the items of the similar category and uh, uh, thank you for the watching if you have any question please feel free to uh, drop into the comment section i will i will happy i will more than happy to help you and the next video i'm gonna talk more in detail about the um and the um setup and how you can define more um categories and also stay tuned and thank you for watching